So what we're missing here with this video is the unboxing. It came in this box. So again, with ITARS Workshop, they show you what you're going to get, at least as far as the boxed items. Here it is. It's much larger than the Egyptian tomb. Here's this support, and in the video that I'm missing of unboxing it, I was showing the fact that this side over here has a large chunk of resin in it. I don't know if that's by design, whereas over here, it almost this little tripod almost goes all the way in. So deep in here, there's a large chunk of resin. Anyways, you can see on the bottom that it's not exactly even, and I tried to level it up a bit, but then I uh, got got tired of that and wanted to to move on so i'm gonna turn off the light anyways here's what i ended up with and i'm kind of laughing at myself because i i made it look worse than it is because i applied two coats of the minwax poly shades antique walnut satin uh, floor wax and I didn't really need to and if I did need to I didn't mean to do it so sloppily so it is a bit sloppy it, it reminds me of how I painted miniatures in eighth grade when I discovered that you can just put a black wash on things and things seem to look better so it's it's a bit sloppy but it also brings out the details and I'm just happy to be moving on with some new content so it's fairly sizable it's also fairly expensive and it's somewhere around $25 to $30 on their website I happened to get it from FRP games when they had a sale so happily fortunately I, I didn't pay that much money for it it's fairly impressive and if you're into Egyptian stuff which my miniatures might indicate but I only have 10 of them uh, it would be worth it and of course before I showed a little uh, picture of some Necrons with it and even though when I think 40k and, and uh, Egyptian I think Thousand Suns I think the Necrons also have a small claim to that so there was the product and uh, again all I did was I didn't paint it I just waxed it and then I matte finished it and it took to this really well which I also referred to in the video for this one uh, somehow there's some kind of chemical bonding and the Minwax poly shades really loves the matte finish and it just absorbs it and immediately goes matte and to make a a video a little bit longer here's the brush I used and that's also part of the difficulty because the first coat I, I just missed a couple spots like on the the underhangs here and even here th these should be shaded in the underhangs because logically that would be under shadow not the top but this brush uh, I wanted to use a cheap brush so I don't want to ruin a brush but this one is pretty cheap pretty crappy and I didn't know this about the style of brush, but there's a metal, or not a metal, a wooden block in the middle of the brush. I thought it would be full. So anyways, uh, if I just used a smaller brush to paint on the wax, I probably wouldn't have had this problem. However, I did use wax paper, which uh, improved it. another issue with this one, of the paint getting pulled off. Because there is, underneath this, is uh, sandstone paint, and then it's just the wax on top. Anyways, uh, check out ITAR's workshop.